In this video, we're going to talk about three ways that we can get your eyes and your brain to work better together to maximize your sports performance. Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Labby. I'm an ophthalmologist and a sports business specialist with 30 years experience working with elite, professional, and Olympic level athletes. I've had thousands of athletes I've taken care of and I'd like to bring what I've learned from them to you so you can perform at your best as well. Today we're going to speak about three different things. First we're going to talk about the quiet eye, then we're going to talk about visualization or imagery, and lastly we're going to talk about overloading your visual system for maximum performance. We'll go through each of these with an explanation of what that means and how you can use that to improve your sports. First let's start with the quiet eye. What is the quiet eye? Well the quiet eye is a period of time from just before, during, and more importantly, just after you perform the critical task in your sport. If you think about it, if you're a basketball free throw shooter and you're gonna try to make your shot uh, in the basket, you're gonna be looking at the front of the rim and you wanna keep your eyes focused on that point just before, during, and more importantly, just after you release the ball. Remember, the quiet eye isn't talking about music, it's talking about movement. And we wanna minimize the movement of your eye during this critical period in your sports performance. For example, if you're a golf putter, when you're making a shot with the putter and hitting the ball, you want to make sure that you're looking at the point of contact just before, during, and again, just after contact with that ball. Why is that important? Well, we know that it takes about a third of a second for your brain to plan moving the eyes. And that means that if you move the eyes the moment you make contact or you release the ball, you will have been thinking about that for a period of time prior to the actual act. Well, you can imagine that if you're thinking about a couple of things, you're distracted and you're not giving your maximal concentration to the task at hand. And that's when not having a good quiet eye can affect your sports performance. So what I suggest is that everybody be trained and you can easily train yourself in doing this. And we'll have a video about some of that shortly. You can train your quiet eye so that you're able to perform that non-movement to the eye until maybe a half a second after the sport act is finished. At that point, you can move your eye because the ball's already on its way and you won't have interfered with your concentration. The second aspect that's critical is the idea of visualization or imagery. People have been using the idea of visualization for years, but now recent research has really supported its importance in sports performance. What exactly is that? Well, visualization is visualizing or actually using your imagination to perform your sports task without actually seeing anything. You know how it looks like, you've seen it before, but by having your eyes closed and visualizing your brain performing the sport, that gives you the improvement. And in fact, research has shown that if you do that visualization in real situations, for example, if you're a skier, if you go to the top of the ski slope and you're looking down at your slalom course prior to leaving, but you don't actually ski, what you do is you close your eyes, you allow the course, the feeling, your gear, the skis, the wind in your face, the cold temperature, all of that is very realistic and allows you to really accurately visualize going around each of those gates and successfully completing the course. In fact, they've shown with research that people who visualize under those conditions do better than people who visualize, let's say, in a room or people who don't visualize at all. They complete the slalom course faster. Same is true of race car drivers in a race. They complete the course faster. In fact, it's interesting that you don't actually have to have visual information coming from your eyes in order to get the benefit. Using a, something called a functional MRI, a brain scan, researchers have been able to show that the same areas of the brain are activated whether you actually see it or visualize the task or the sports performance. In other words, without the actual seeing, you still get all the brain processes of analyzing that visual information, making a proper decision, making a proper motor action based on what you see, or in this case, imagined as opposed to actually seeing. Visualization can be a very important tool that athletes can use to improve and optimize their sports performance. The third area is the idea of overload. Overload has been used in physical training for decades and we now have been able to use it in sports training as well, sports vision training as well. Overload talks about putting yourself in a position to perform your sport under much more difficult conditions than normal. For example, you can use a pair of glasses that has blocking lenses that turn on and turn off intermittently that take away some of your vision. Imagine if you're returning a serve, or if you're trying to hit a baseball, or if you're a footballer trying to shoot a goal, or even if you're the goalie trying to block that shot. Having pieces of your vision removed by these lenses that turn on and off make the task that much more difficult. If you can become good under those conditions, imagine how much easier it would be when you actually see everything without any interruption. That's the idea of overload. 
and by using overload, you can also improve your game. So in summary, we're talking about the quiet eye, we're talking about visualization or imagery, and we're talking about overload. All three, if used properly, can really help tune up your game and make it much more easy for you to succeed. We have more videos about each of these topics that you'll find below. And if you like this information and would like to learn more about when we release new videos, please feel free to subscribe down below and you'll be notified each time, each week when we release new topics. Until next time, perform well.